God, yay! Yeah. Woohoo! Bologna sandwiches! Right. Oh yeah, this isn't even for you. All right, Spencer, start to inter in interact us with all of your stuff in your apartment. What, what, do, what do we have right here? Well, this is, uh, like, I don't know, my shrine to my my buddy, uh, Charles Flavius Tango III, who recently passed away, and I learned at his funeral that I, he didn't have much, and then, uh, his dentures, because he had a drug addiction that claimed all his teeth, and so once he got sober, he had to get dentures, but I've got his teeth, so. All right, people. In case the internet's wondering what's racist or not, this is not racist. It's a little baby. I would have bought it if it was an Asian baby or a white baby. These are my clowns. Don't look at that one. Okay. All right. This is me scuba diving when I was young. It's my old sailboat. Oh, damn. There's a lot you don't know about me, but I used to specialize in cheese and salted cured deli meats. Now what do you specialize in? Specialize in uh, passion, honesty, loyalty. <laughs> so my sensei, rest in peace, taught me everything he could before he passed along. So I'd like to show you what I've learned from him. A triple black belt in devil sticks. <laughs> what? I want to show examples of women being better than men at things because men get all the credit for sport. And for example, fastest time to cram into a tiny box for a man, it took 5.35 seconds and the box was 20 by 20 by 17 and a half. For a woman, it took 4.78 seconds. I critique other people's books that have been written. I review books. My life is just books, books, books. That's all. I guess I could tell my record player story. This really cool record player, I bought it when I was 18. I maxed out my credit card. It was $600. It was the most expensive purchase I had ever made in my life. Sounded like a dream. It was pretty much the coolest thing I owned. Um, instant panty dropper. Men, women alike, all loved it. <laughs> Didn't matter. Anyone's panties were dropping for this record player. Then I moved back home to California, and it broke along the journey. And I just recently called this guy to come fix it. And he took a key component of my record player and took it with him. And then I found out after he took it that uh, he was supposed to live in North Hollywood, but he just got divorced, went crazy, and now lives in Mexico. And is just banging prostitutes all day long. His exact words to me was, the only problems I have are uh, picking which girl to bang. And now he's been in Mexico with my record player for like four months and it won't respond to any of my calls or texts or anything. What came first, the the prostitutes or the record player? He came first. He <laughs> and this book was sold to me by a man named Boone Shakalaka for one dollar. Rest in peace, Boone. I love you. A lot of my clothes come from him, and all, most of my good books. And uh, just so we don't disrespect the dead, he didn't find these off the streets. He stole them from thrift stores. That's what I was. <laughs> This is her with Chelsea Rodham Clinton. No, sorry, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, a lot of people think she's a lizard person. She's a lizard person. She wears the power pantsuit, and Oprah does too. That's Oprah's banging outfit. I imagine Oprah just likes watching famous presidents make love to their wives. She likes to make Stedman uh, watch ex-presidents make love to Stedman. Who's Oprah's boyfriend? Doesn't she have a longtime boyfriend? Oh, I know that guy. That's uh, the Reverend. Oh my Al God! Sharpie. What? Bette Midler yeah. and Kid Rock all together. <laughs> that's Kid Rock. That name, yeah, that's Kid Rock. When uh, Devil Without a Cause came out, my grandpa hated Danny Glover. I never why? knew why. I don't know. That's I never so really weird. found out. Can I ask you something? Speaking of your grandpa, yeah. What's in that box? Can oh, that's for you to book? open. Really? Yeah. Right now? Go for it. Okay. I'm opening this box. <laughs> now dip through it. Oh my god! My grandpa's personal your photos. Your grandpa took. This. Yeah, these aren't just from Playboy magazine. You know what I mean? Wait, they, your uh... grandpa took all. Oh, oh. There's no business.
Comedy's a fickle bitch. For young bucks looking to start fresh. I would take my joke writing course that I'm offering. I've got one spot left. They cost a lot of money, but people say it's worth it. And they get focus, clarity, and laughs that they've never had before. I teach you how to turn every situation into either a <laughs> joke. Let me try that again with a straight joke. <laughs> what makes my comedy classes unique? What makes my comedy class unique is uh, most teachers teach you the joke structuring, the format of the joke, how to tell a joke in the club. But my class, I teach you how to turn any situation into a Holocaust or rape joke. And I mean anything. <laughs> Tom Selleck and Oprah Winfrey. I don't mean to brag, but I'll be playing in Visalia, California coming up this Saturday. This show should be the kickstart I need. First this show, then Visalia. Mm. Bakersfield, Fresno, Stockton. Do you um, have a hallway with a coffee maker in it? And do you use oh. that coffee maker? It's a communal hallway, and if you... Should we go make coffee in it? ...really need the details, I provided the table. I don't know who provided the chairs. I don't know who provided the coffee maker, but um, no. yes, I use it. Would you... you think this is a real set, Spencer? <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a bad reputation about my show. I just use my tripod. No, I don't want to use your tripod. I want to put this against the... Some old man experiences, though. You tell me. You have those moments where uh, you make you just realize, hey, I'm old. You know, uh, late night Bob's Big Boy. You know, comedians love to eat at Bob's Big Boy. Oh, yeah. And I was going in with the comic who's only like 22, but he does happen to look like 40. And the server was probably like 19. And there was three young people in front of me. And she goes, oh, yeah, you guys can sit here and sits these guys right here. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, party for two. And there were a bunch of empty booths. And she sat us way, way in the back. And I looked around, and it was just filled with mongoloids and freaks and people who only come out at night. And then I looked at her section, and it was just like two tables of really young dudes. But did you look at her and say, table for two? That's, I mean, that's kind of like what an older person says. You're just hanging out. Early with bird for two. <laughs> Do you have any <laughs> pumpkin pie left? You said table for two, and it's you and this other guy. And table he... for two, miss. <laughs> I like your sketch or shape ups, is what I said. Do you have you thought about coming out here and either doing a a cool like dancing dance party? Well, I did a dance dance party, and Whitney Houston came back to life for three hours, and she danced with everybody out here. And she's lonely in the afterlife. She misses Bobby Brown. She says, don't believe the rumors. He was good to her. <gasps> Man, he's misunderstood. Yeah, I feel, I just watched um, that, that medium. His name is Tyler. Tyler something. He's a medium. He has a show on Netflix. He just read for Bobby Brown. And he was just telling him stuff. That's a good story, huh? <laughs> oh, mean, that's real? Yeah. Yeah. It was, I, I just watched. There's it. a medium. His just name's Tyler. It's just like regular cute guy but he's on netflix uh -huh. and he he has his own show and he goes around and he people like probably pay him a lot of money and he draws um but he doesn't know anything about bobby brown except probably whitney houston so he 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 brought people up is this an interesting story yeah, yeah i've got he, i've had i've had psychic experience yeah one time i hung out with this sushi chef he was a filipino sushi chef yeah and he was kind of, I only bring up his race just because they're normally Japanese. So this guy was a Filipino one. And he was a mutual friend. And we were all just basically uh, partying super hard. But now we're trashed, right? We're like, woo, we're going, we're going for it. Then at some point, he tells me that he has a kid with Down syndrome. And then he said, I have a kid with Down syndrome, but he grew out of it. He doesn't have Down syndrome anymore. <laughs> And my friend and I, even like, you know, when you're so trash that you don't believe what you actually know, I was like, it's a bone structure thing, right? Like, you can't just not be Down syndrome anymore because Down syndrome affects you to the point where your bone structure is different. Yes. And so, but he said, no, he just grew out of it. He's only, vi he's only visually autistic now. So just autistic with his eyes. 
That doesn't sound right to me. Um, but, oh, no, I haven't even got to the psychic part yet. Oh. So then this guy tells me he's a psychic. Yeah. And he grabs my friend's hand to read his palm. He's a palm reader. Yeah. And my friend is like the most hands-down maniac I know, one of the wildest guys I know. And he just reads his palm like, you're going to have a nice, healthy life with the wife and money. You're going to be good. And then he grabs my hand, and then he drops it like it was on fire and just goes, I've never seen a palm that crazy in my life. Your whatever your money. This is real professional. Your timeline or whatever is going on in your palm, your lifeline is out of control. And then he says, you won't make it to the age of 40. What? Yeah, he said, I'm going to die by the age of 40. It's been an honor being on the bologna sandwich show. And as a straight white male, it's an honor to have the privilege of being the first straight white male on your show. We've had black, we've had Asian, now you got me.